everybody hopefully you're all doing well i know it's been uh, kind of crazy lately especially if you live in america like me but the holidays were recently so hopefully you had a good holidays if you celebrate christmas like me merry christmas and if you celebrate other holidays then of course happy holidays i hope you all got to spend time with your family you know take time off of school or work or whatever it is you do Oh yeah, and happy 2021. I'm happy that we finally get to put 2020 behind us. Hopefully 2021 will be at least a little bit better. Anyway, moving on, uh, obviously today I have a haul video for you guys. I know that, you know, I haven't really uploaded a haul video in a while. It's been a decent amount of time, but uh, I haven't really uploaded in general, actually, to be honest. But um, I know you guys tend to like haul videos, and I like making them, so yeah. A good chunk of this stuff is actually gifts from my family, of course, for Christmas. So that's cool. Thank you, family. And then a few of these, of course, are my purchases as well. But anyway, enough messing around, let's get into it. I'm gonna start off with this bag. So first, obviously, I have two poly bags here. Uh, this is the Harry Potter uh, and Hedwig owl delivery one. I just found this at Walmart or something. I picked it up just because, I don't know. I like poly bags, I think they're cool, and it has a Harry Potter minifig, and I haven't bought any other Harry Potter sets. So, I don't know, just something fun to have. And then the next one is the Captain Marvel and Nick Fury poly bag. I haven't seen Captain Marvel at all, but I just like the uh, prints on the torsos for the minifigs, as well as the arm printing, I believe, on her arms. That's really cool. I just like that suit as well. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to open these. I'm just probably going to keep them sealed for a while. Maybe I'll open them someday. But uh, next, I got, believe it or not, another 501st Battle Pack. I actually got three, but I just figured I would only show one, I found them at Walmart on sale. Uh, I think they were like 20 bucks, so I just picked up another one. Uh, weirdly enough, this one actually has seals. The other ones, or the first two that I got, uh, had the thumb tabs, so I don't know, that's just kind of cool. I haven't seen one with seals or with tape seals, so yeah, I just picked one up. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I might just, you know, uh, keep it sealed. I don't really see a point in opening it. I already have two, but I don't know, I just like that set, so I figured I'd get another one. And then these two, yes, ah, these two are fun. Um, I got the Batman and the Joker. I said Joker, or I said Batman first, even though I pulled out Joker. But I got the Batman and the Joker Brickheads. Uh, these were a gift from my mom, so again, thank you, Mom. Uh, I believe the Batman is from the Lego store, and then I think that the Joker is actually from Bricklink, weirdly enough, because I know that the Joker went out of stock on, I think, Lego Shop at Home and at my Lego store, so... Um, my mom just really <laughs> went the extra mile to get both of them. That was really nice of her. I appreciate that. But, um, yeah, I think these are cool. I already built them. I should mention a lot of this stuff I've actually built because I have little to no patience. But, um, yeah, these are pretty cool. I'll probably post a review of both of them together. I don't see a need to do them both uh, individually, kind of like I did with the Star Wars ones. That just was kind of a waste of time. But, um... Yeah, first bag, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, I definitely gotta say, I like the Batman and the Joker brickheads a lot more than I thought I would. Um, I might like them better than the Star Wars ones, to be honest. I should stop talking, though, so, you know, you can watch a review when that comes out. But, uh, anyway, let's move I on. I had my camera so high up for the first bag, I don't really know why I did that. Um, anyway, moving on, I got this set. I think I actually got this the day after I filmed my most recent haul video, so that's kind of irritating. I wish, you know, I had just waited a day or something but um yeah i've had this for a while it's the uh hay bale ride set from halloween i just really like this one i don't normally buy lego sets well uh, without a theme i usually just buy themed lego sets but i don't know i just really liked the look of this one i thought that the two minifigs were also super cool with like the uh the skeleton hoodies really giving me karate kid vibes but um i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with this i might just keep it sealed till next halloween but i don't know i just really like it i really like the box art too like the purple atmosphere it's very cool i don't know i just like this set and i yeah i picked it up i think the day after i filmed the last haul video so that's kind of frustrating uh this one is actually i believe it's a costco exclusive it's the um comment down below if you know but it's the uh super mech pack it's all three of the here it shows it on the back it's all three of the Marvel mechs from this year, I believe, uh, but all in one pack. And like I said, I think it's a Costco exclusive, which if you live in America, uh, there's a store known as Costco where you can get this at, but um, it's pretty cool and it is exclusive, so I don't think I'm ever gonna open it. I'm probably just gonna hold on to it until it retires and then, I don't know, maybe try to sell it, but um, 
It's a pretty cool set, I gotta, I gotta admit. I wish they would do this more like they used to for like the Star Wars Battle Packs. Then again, who knows if Battle Packs are even a thing anymore. But I thought this was cool, and I actually saw it at Costco, and I just thought it was cool. And I remember looking it up, like looking up the set, and I saw that it was an American exclusive, or a Costco exclusive, so I was like, all right, I'll pick it up. Uh, yeah, I think it's cool. I definitely am not really a Lego Marvel fan. I think they lost me around Infinity War sets, but I'm not really a Lego Marvel fan anymore, but I really did just think this was cool. I think it was a nice idea, too, like, combined all three of them. I hope they do it with the new three mechs. I think it's, like, Miles Morales, Captain America, and then I can't, I think Thor, maybe? I'm not sure, but... I hope they do that again, because I really like this, and it could be like a nice little sealed collection to keep, uh, start. Next up, this one is super interesting and a really good story. Um, This is the LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean, the Cannibal Escape set. I believe this theme actually retired in, I want to say, 2014. I'm not sure about that. Don't quote me. Actually, that might be completely wrong. I don't know, but um, I found this set at a store called the Minifig Shop. I'm really close to it, or I don't know. I should say I'm... A decent drive from it but um it's basically like a lego pawn shop you can you know sell your lego sets you can buy lego sets there that are like older themes you can also of course buy minifigures and uh just parts i'll leave a link to their instagram in the description so you can check them out but i found this set i saw it on one of their posts and for a while i had just been trying to hitch a ride to uh the minifig store but i saw this set on one of their posts and I didn't know how much it cost because it was just the backside, but I recently watched the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. I hadn't ever seen them until just a few weeks ago. I know, kind of crazy, but I fell in love with them. They're awesome. And so I really wanted a Pirates of the Caribbean set, but I know, you know, how much they are. Even the ones that aren't sealed, they're pretty pricey. Um, so when I saw this, I was like, all right, well, maybe I can just go check it out. And it was originally, it looks like it was originally 60 bucks, but then... Uh, apparently, I got it for 20% off, so 40 which is incredible. I mean, it's a sealed Pirates of the Caribbean set. Um, the box is a little messed up, you can just tell right here, and then a little wrinkle. But honestly, it's not too horrible, and it doesn't bother me that much. But I don't know, I'm just in love with this thing. It's so cool. I just can't believe I actually have a sealed Pirates of the Caribbean set, because I really like it. Uh, I like the minifigs in it, too. Like, I think this Jack Sparrow and the Cannibals are both exclusive to it. I know Will Turner's not, but... um. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to open this. I don't, really don't know what I'm going to do with it. I want to keep it sealed because it's just so cool. But um, I was super lucky to get it, and I don't know. I just love it. It's awesome. Um, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description to the Minifig Shop's Instagram. But um, yeah, it's a really cool set. I'm happy to have it, and I'm happy to only pay 40 bucks for it. That was probably the best. It was definitely a lucky find. So I think it's actually pretty obvious what this is, but, uh, well, those of you who can already guess, let me take that bag. It is the LEGO Death Star Final Duel, or should I say, like, the re-release of the Death Star Final Duel. Uh, anyway, I got this set as a Christmas gift from my grandparents, so of course, thank you, grandparents. But, uh, I really like it. I think they got it from the LEGO store. I already put it together, so that's, you're just seeing the box. There's no pieces in there anymore, but, um... Of course, I'm going to make a review about it, but I really like it, and it's one that I wanted back when the original came out in 2018, I believe. I'm not sure, but when the original came out, I really wanted that one, and I just remember it retired before I could get my hands on it, or I that, or I just wasn't buying Lego at the time. So then when I heard that they were going to re-release it, kind of update the figures and the build a little bit, I was super, super pumped because I had one of this set and then they retired it and it's now a lot more on, you know, like eBay and Bricklink and stuff. So I was super lucky that really played out in uh, my favor, but I'm really happy that I got it because I have to say this is probably my favorite scene in all of Star Wars. I love it so much, the Darth Vader and Luke fight at the end of Return of the Jedi uh, and then, spoiler alert, Vader, you know, throws Palpatine down the shaft. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just... It's a really cool set, too. The minifigs are incredible. The Darth Vader with the arm printing is definitely the best one of them all. And I do like that hoodie with Palpatine. Of course, I'll talk more about um, all of this in my review. But it's a really cool set, and I'm just super happy that I got it. Uh, 100 bucks felt a little pricey, but I don't know. I have to say, like, you know, it seems fair. It's a really cool set, and I like all the uh, features in it. And I don't know, I just like the overall sort of vibe with it. And like I said, that's, like, my favorite scene of Star Wars, so I'm super happy to have that. 
Next up in the uh, yellow Lego bag, I did not get this from the Lego store. I believe I got it from Amazon, but it is uh, the child. It's the, more the child or the baby Yoda uh, buildable figure set or whatever you want to call it, uh, UCS baby Yoda set. But again, I really wanted this one just because I thought it was adorable and I like the buildable characters, but um, this one and D are like the only ones I have. I didn't buy any of the other ones when they came out, weirdly enough, but yeah, I'm super happy you do have uh, Baby Yoda. He's so cute. And I just, yeah, I really like the set. Um, I believe, except for the 2021 Mandalorian set, which I think I ordered. I'm not sure. I think it should be here on Tuesday, but um, I'm not sure. This would complete my Mandalorian set collection because I believe I have every other Mandalorian set except for this one in the 2021 one. But uh, yeah. I got it, it's cool, I already built this one as well, because I have no patience, but um, yeah, I really like it, it's kind of a long build, it's a little, uh, it gets a little uh, annoying when you're like putting together his gown, just because, you know, the texture and stuff, but uh, really cool, happy to have it, and uh, yeah, like I said, I believe I got it off of Amazon, so again, again, really cool. Next one's kind of a biggie, this is the uh, AT-AT, the 2020 AT-AT, uh, and yeah, again, with this one, I had the original version, the 2014-2015 one, and I already built it, and I just have to say, again, I'll make a review, but I just have to say, this one is leaps and bounds better, it honestly feels like there's like maybe a 20-year difference between them, like this one is just incredible i like the 40 uh the 40 and the 40th anniversary of the empire strikes back little logo or uh, plaque down there that's cool and i think that that's gonna have a lot of like resale value if i ever want to resell it but i got this one for christmas too again from my grandparents grandparents are pretty cool but uh yeah i really like this one it's the second at, -AT i own and my other one is completely destroyed and i have no intention of putting it back together but uh, yeah, I'm super happy to get this one. I think the minifigs are pretty cool, especially the general veers, and then the fact that they included two of the at, -AT drivers instead of just one. The Luke Skywalker's cool, too, but, uh, yeah, I'm super happy to have this set. I'm really glad that I got it. It's one that I wanted, and, again, kind of like with the Halloween set, I just like the uh, cooler colored background. I like the snow and the ice and the plaque and everything. I just think that it's really nice. It's a cool set. I like the greebling up top as well. Just the, This is probably one of my favorite box arts for lego star wars in a while but yeah really cool i'm really happy that i have this one <laughs> really cool no pun intended but uh yeah now there is actually one more item that i was kind of hesitant to show just because i don't know i feel like it's a little too much but i decided you know what whatever <sighs> yeah that's uh that's the death star so yeah, I'm still kind of in shock that I got this one. This is one that I have wanted probably since I was like six years old, maybe even a little littler. I'd say like four years old, I've wanted the Lego Death Star. I don't know, it's just been the holy grail of Lego Star Wars sets. It's kind of outmatched now by the UCS ones, but like for its day, the original one was like the ultimate playset. I mean, you know, you you wanted a Lego Star Wars playset. That, that was just the king of all of them. So I think it's safe to say I was pretty shocked when I found this under the tree on Christmas. Again, like kind of a combined gift from my family. Uh, crazy. Really a big surprise. I honestly just can't believe it. It's definitely the biggest um, Lego Star Wars set. No, I'd say it's the biggest Lego set I own, I believe. But I, have, I haven't built this one yet. I have no idea where I'm even going to put it. I do not know if I have enough space to keep it in the basement. It's just so incredibly big. I mean, it's gonna take me forever to build, but it's definitely one that I wanted. I know a lot of people say that they don't like it because it doesn't look the greatest, but to me, it's just so nostalgic, and it's just like so, I don't know, it just has that vibe to it. I've loved it since I was little. So just to get the new one was like obviously an incredible surprise to me. I didn't put it in the thumbnail because I couldn't fit it on the table with the rest of the sets, but yeah, this one's pretty big. I believe it's $500? I say I believe. I know from heart that it's $500, because better believe I've been trying to save up for it for a while, but, um, yeah, it's it's a pretty cool set. Um, I'm super, super stoked. I can't believe that I have it. I just, oh, I really can't believe it. Uh, don't know where I'm gonna put it, but I'm gonna, obviously, the highlight of the haul. So, I mean, look at all these minifigs. My lights don't even shine 
high enough to where it can illuminate the top. I mean, it's just crazy big. It's incredible. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this haul. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I think we got some cool stuff overall, and I look forward to making videos reviewing most of the stuff here. Uh, yeah, like I said, hopefully you did enjoy. Uh, if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, of course, if you want. It's free, and again, you can always unsubscribe if you wish, but, uh, yeah, hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Of course, happy holidays, and stay safe, and, uh, yeah, peace out.